about it already. What's on the line as we head into the World Cup? One final time, one last dance between India and control those middle overs. But the big inclusion today is the star power of Glenn Maxwell. He comes back for his first game. So the crowd starting to build up. Hot afternoon, remember Australia batting first. Brad Haddon's been saying that one thing for the last couple of games. With the three full flex seam bowlers alternative, because that's one of the things they can actually do at the World Cup, which is uh, play Bumrah, Siraj, and Shank. We have seen from the Indian bowlers and not. Shah, he's got a lovely front foot stride, and you saw that being brought out very early. And he, the thing is, the, the first three deliveries, he. He's trusted himself, he's trusted his ability and the track to play that shot early on in the innings. And he's not bothered about looking to keep the ball along the ground. Senses an opportunity. <laughs> Drops it short, Marsh is waiting for it. There's a shot of great authority and power. It's not always that you see Bumrah being hit back over his head and then over mid wicket for Sikh. <laughs> more runs, more runs. He's in very good form, Mitch Marsh is powered his way to 19 of 8 and he's realized. Yep. But he gets uh, the timing right this time to struggle a little bit if this first seven eight balls no problem this time Right start here There you go David Warner He's looked at Mitch Marsh and said young man if you can do it I've been around a little longer I can too over More than ten of this over a lot more than ten of this over This is imperious powerful batting by Australia another six Warner goes up to eight This will be him though. this will be the fielder rather it's not it will be the fielder in the deep four Nice, easy pick. Good lines. Inclusion. The keeper went up, the bowler reacted to the keeper going up. That was nervous for the umpire. Woke up, Rasi Krishna starts to spell. And Warner just beats the man, and you only have to just beat the man to get a four on this track. We're going to put pressure on uh, the new ball Australia will take this approach like the Australians have taken today or the Indians took it the other day. Finds a gap again. It's, as I said, that's all you've got to do. If you're a fielder, don't bother running unless you want a little jog. He's in your Ah, Warner inside out. Changes the shot at the last minute. I thought, good one. No, not good enough. Got to the ball, but uh, maybe ask him to change and not to go around the wicket. Six. <laughs> Oh, that's his natural length. Again, finds the gap and the boundary. And he's doing it pretty frequently. That's been the key in his innings so far. And he's helped it on its way. Another six. Another 50 for David Warner. Now that's out. Indians are very confident. The finger goes up. He took his time, Dharmasena. Last the experience. Oh, lovely shot from Steve Smith. That'll end the over. Nine gone, 84 for one. Middle. Again, uh, excellent placement and timing. That's a beautiful shot for me. And good placement. Quick outfield. And the ball wins. That's a very... Yeah, trying to do. Much better pace from Jadeja. Just slowing it up a bit. Come on, Jacob, do. Sit The big cut from Mitchell Marsh, another boundary as well. 50 runs partnership comes up. Two is one. Three. Well, he wanted that single for. And there it comes. The 50 for Mitchell Marsh. 17th one day international 50 pan Cummins is happy gone gone past the diving fielder another boundary of uh, Washington Sundar's over another short ball also the fact that India have won the series already so yes I think that's likely to happen you won't see him bowl and that's just getting a bit worse but it's a nice little half track a perfect for Steve Smith to clear the boundary you don't say that too often from he likes the pace coming on very clearly, Mitch Marsh likes the pace coming on. In the second time, he's played that shot of, uh, of Umrah. This time, the fielder there now beats him again for four. So every time Umrah drifts closer to the body, the leg side shots come out. Beautiful. Now, we've seen a six and a four on the onside. 
But I think as a batter, you're much happier playing that shot because it's just come out the middle. And will be another boundary. You will n hardly ever see this happening. Bumrah has conceded. In the gap for four more, it's really just a question of whether you can find the gaps because the moment you find a gap, it's four. And they're jumping on the back feed. Driven on the up once again. And will they find the boundary? Yes, it does. And that's been the feature of his batting. And a half cent. And shot. Powerful shot down the ground. <laughs> if he's tired and get hit like that, may he be tired. That's it. Beware of the wounded player. Okay. Finds a gap for four. Finds a gap for four. And I think it's a slowness of the surface again. Rock back very quickly. We'll clear the field. Clears uh, square leg. Play, uh, puts out the sweep shot. And they're taking a little fondness to put. But from time to time, we'll unleash shots like these. I don't think power is a problem with Mitch Marsh ever. Found a ball in his hitting arc, went through his... <laughs> Taken. Taken a little bit of extra bounce in the wrong run. For Kuldeep Yadav, it's a wonderfully played innings from Mitch Marsh. 96 of 80. Into the furnace. And not surprisingly, the wicket keeper is looking at the umpire and saying, can we get him? Now, has he put that in the gap as well? Yes, a little too short from Washington Sundar. And Steve Smith will be telling Labushen, you know what, when I can hit shots like these... And good placement. And once again, the ball racing away to the boundary. Such a quick outfield. Every time you find the... That's it! That's gone away for four. Been very proactive tonight. No, that's well-timed. Knew exactly what he was doing. One bounce over long on. Another boundary. That's close. And he's uh, been given out. One the field review. Seems good Yorker too. That's his stock length which has been punished for. It's a boundary to end the over. The 250 comes up for Australia for the loss of three. We'll find the gap. There's acres of space up there where that ball's gone. This little bunt over mid wicket for four. I think that's where we're up. Boom. And get a wicket. Might have been slowing through the air a little chip straight. Might have been slowing through the air a little chip straight to cover. And something for. Australia wanted Maxwell to get a long stay in and play himself into form, check out his fitness, that's not going to happen. Is the new better. In today, ahead of uh, Stoinis. Conditions. When play started, it was pretty long. Punched into the gap. And that should find the boundary. What a shot that is from Cameron Green. Making good use of his height. Now just drifting into the pads. Drifting into the pads, an easy boundary. Yes, it is, because it, he can hit it with the turn there in the middle. Yeah, they want to see that aspect of Cameron Green. But there's a fielder underneath that it's not got the distance that the catch is taken. They wanted to see him come down the wicket, clear the boundary. At one point, 215 for one, 242 for two, Cummins. Yeah. And he'll get out of the mark. It might actually go all the way. The fielder is so far, so square and so far away. So, little nudge for four. Now, we've got a batter who's batting on 50. And uh, obviously getting a little tired, so the visits might get a little more frequent. Oh, that's a cracking shot. Lovely sound when the ball made contact with the bat and it's disappeared to the fence. Oh, that's up in the air and taken comfortably. So two catches. For so 50 overs have been bowled in Australia. Finished on 352 for seven.